Welcome to another episode of The Entrepreneurial You, where we go inside the stores and stories of some amazing Bahamian businesses. I'm Ianthea Ferguson, your host, and today we are here at Dream Wild Designs, where they help you live your brand's wildest dreams. All right, you guys, so we are here with Deandra Fox Heal, the owner and brand advisor at Dream Wild Designs. And here is so beautiful. I see a lot of colors. Tell us what goes down in here. <laughs> okay, so we are your embroidery and vinyl specialist. We tend to print on anything, sashes to blankets to you name it. We will try it for you. Talk to me about the business, how you got started, what made you want to create Dream Wild. Initially, I had bought a machine and I I was just trying to kind of figure out some stuff and I said, you know what, this may be a good business venture to get into. So I started out just by doing shirts alone and that was with the vinyl. And when I realized, hey, you know what, this could really be profitable, I decided to get into the embroidery and that's where SBDC came in because I decided, you know what, I'm going to need some help. <laughs> and so I didn't know what I was up against, but they made it all so easy. I went in, did my business plan, get every, got everything sorted. Um, and then from there they were able, I mean it was a long wait, but you know, because it doesn't happen overnight, but uh, they were able to assist me with getting the funds to get my embroidery machine, and so here we are. And I love that you jump right into your partnership with the SPDC. We ain't wasting no time today, y'all. <laughs> she is just talking about it. So talk to me about that partnership, that relationship. What made you reach out, and how has it been going for you so far? Okay, fair enough. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to be able to afford my machine on its own so I was like I'm gonna need some help and I just didn't know where it was gonna come from and so I started sourcing out um, different resources and SPDC happened to be one of them and they were the ones that actually came through for me and they helped to develop not only my plan um, but helped to develop the vision of Dream Wild Designs. And did you have any experience with embroidery or vinyl and printing before or Initially, there was maybe about a year in between where I was kind of still feeling it out mm -hmm. and trying to figure out where we were going, um, whether or not this was something I would like to do long term. And I fell in love with the embroidery side of things just because, you know, from I was younger, I kind of was attracted to it. And so it just was able to, <laughs> it was able to uh, propel me in the right direction. Awesome. Talk to me a little bit about the advisement that you've been getting, just that constant constant support yes. as you go on in your business start to present SPDC has been there um, whether it's just a simple phone call um, support financially assisting with the accounting side of the business they've just been you know absolute in their presence and they are still there because they assist in the post advisor side of things and so for me it really helps there are some and days Sorry, mm -hmm. there are some days where you feel as though, hey, you know what, I'm not sure what to do. Who do I call? And so the advisors are always there. A lot of times when we've done um, these episodes, that's the one thing every business has mentioned, COVID-19 and the impact it has. Yes. How has that impacted Dream Wild? Definitely, it has had an impact on us. Um, we were closed for a while. And then when we got back into business, everybody was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to start me a new business. And so that was like perfect for us. <laughs> it's like they're going to need business, some t-shirts. Yeah, they're, they're going to need, need some prints. Definitely. They're going to need all of their branding, um, whether it's the promotional items or um, just their uniforms. So we found lots of persons just gravitating towards us. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So tell me about where we're standing. What's in here? Talk to me about these beautiful machines. We are in the embroidery room. And this is where we decide or determine our colors that we're gonna use. Um, we every, Everything is already placed, so we know who's supposed to be picking up, when they're picking up, and what part of the process they're in. Okay. So there's the development stages, because we have to actually put together the files, and then from the files, we send it to the machine from there, and then once they're done, we send them back out to the front. Perfect, so mm -hmm. this machine here, this big thing mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. This is our main embroidery machine, mm -hmm. and this is what does the majority of our prints.
what's going on over here? I see you have a lot of logos. Yes. Yeah. So being a brand advisor, most times we try to assist in the development of branding. So mm -hmm. that would start anywhere with identifying the colors that you like, the reason that you're um, looking for embroidery mm -hmm. to be done, and we assist you with just developing your brand straight throughout, mm -hmm. um, starting with your logo, whether it's putting it on your business cards or your uniforms, wherever you need it to go. Um, we also assist with or like, a sash, like the, you say, or going on right, boxes. Right. And I love the fact that you talk about being a brand advisor to your client because a lot of people feel like having the logo is the end all and be all of branding their business. No. But that's not the no, case, definitely right? Absolutely not. We try to ensure that you stick within your color schemes. Um, we try and make sure that you're out there definitely representing your brand and we try to um, make sure that you're groomed properly as mm -hmm. simple as that may sound wow. um, it goes a long way with presenting who you are and, and your brand and making sure that the logo is customized or built for different things like you talk about putting it on boxes mm -hmm. versus t-shirts versus right. a banner or something mm -hmm. like that you do all that with your business yes we do awesome yes. okay 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 mm -hmm. what would we have here this is actually our heat press. Um, it allows us to gauge how much temperature is used on whatever the item is that we're going to be preparing. And we mainly use it for our vinyl and our ghost printing. Ghost printing, what exactly is that? Ghost printing is a special type of printing. Most persons are not quite familiar with it, but we do have it available. And that's where you can send us an image and no matter what it is, we're able to duplicate it. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So this is the ghost printer here. What makes this so special? You said you're able to replicate any design sent in. And I think you told me that you're one of the one of two companies in the country that has that? Correct. Most people use the DTF. Um, it is a same, similar in terms of the transfer process, but it gives you that ability to actually print a clear space when you're printing a PNG file. Most persons that <laughs> deal with files would have an idea of what it is that I'm referring to. We tend to look at the client's needs from start to finish, and so I feel as though we are able to accommodate as well as produce whatever their needs are as it relates to business and branding. And thank you so much for that, Deandra. It's great being in the spot. Nice and cozy, beautiful, and hopefully I get to work with Dreamball in the thank future. Awesome. awesome. We hope that you work with us as well. Thank you. And if you are ready for your brand to live its wildest dreams, be sure to check out Dream Wild on East Street South in the Commonwealth Drugs Plaza. We'll see you next time.